Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority app guy. Opera Mini Browser received a huge update recently that seemed to change just about everything about the application, and we're going to take a quick look at it in this video. Opera Mini's new design is both clean and functional, although it does take a moment to get used to. The Omni bar is at the top along with a plus symbol for adding bookmarks, the bottom houses the menu button, which is just the Opera logo, tab controls, and a button to take you to the speed dial feature, and back and forward buttons. Inside the menu, you'll see data savings, but more on that here in a minute. Below that, you'll see four buttons for history, find and page functionality, a share button, and a button that closes all of your tabs. You can also access your downloads and app settings below that. In the settings, you'll be able to change the app layout depending on your preferences, determine new tab behaviors, change text size, access full screen features, and some advanced features like cookies, text trap, protocol, and network test to see if you have a functioning connection. Overall, it's actually quite nice as Opera puts a lot of controls in a relatively small amount of space and made them large and noticeable enough to find easily. That's something that other browsers could definitely learn from. Along with the application comes a data compression feature that attempts to minimize how much data you use when you browse the web. In many cases it's highly functional and we managed to use about 10% of the data we would have using other browsers. Opera's data compression system is very aggressive which should help those who live in areas with slower network connections because they will be loading pages that are a smaller size. The compression almost certainly helps those on capped data plans to save more data. The speed dial feature has been present in Opera's main browser for a while and Opera Mini is no different. The speed dial allows you to set up sites you go to frequently so you can get there very quickly. You can also find your bookmarks, sites you save for offline reading, and even a somewhat customizable news feed to keep you caught up on whatever kind of news you enjoy. During our testing, we visited 50 websites in total and all 50 of them loaded relatively quickly. A few had some graphical and text formatting issues that are likely a result of Opera's data compression, but at no point did the websites cease to function as they should. A few larger websites may load more slowly than expected, but there were very few instances where it was so slow that it was annoying. Also included in the update, or private tabs similar to Google Chrome's incognito mode. You can also swipe to close tabs, swipe to delete bookmarks, and swipe up to search. Here's what we liked about the new Opera Mini. The new UI revamp is clean and functional and even somewhat customizable. The data compression feature actually saves you quite a bit of data. Bookmarks can be synced across devices and that also includes computers, so it's up to date with other things like Chrome and Firefox. The speed dial feature is as useful as ever. And here's what we didn't like so much. The occasional graphical glitches on websites, likely from data compression, can get a little annoying sometimes. Some of the larger sites may still load slowly despite being compressed, and there doesn't appear to way to turn data compression off if you want the full web experience. Overall, this is a positive update for Opera Mini. It brings a lot of the features and looks from Opera's full-fledged browser, and the performance is still very good. The data compression is fantastic and very well may help those with limited data plans and connections. With the new features and looks, Opera Mini is now brought up to date with current browser options, which is only a good thing. If you want to check it out, we'll have the link for you in the video description below. Once again, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority app guy. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority and follow us on all of our social media sites. As always, thanks for watching, everybody and have a wonderful day.